All right, are we ready to proceed? The challenge ready. Yes. Thank you. Are we on the record, Ms. Hernandez? We are being recorded and the transcription has started. All right, well, good morning, everyone. Today is June 20th, 2024 at 8 a.m. And this is a recall hearing on a zoning uh, violation matter. Uh, case number PZC 230079, Coconino County Community Development versus Christopher and April Allen. And um, the scope of today's hearing is very limited. It's very narrow because a, a decision that the Allens were responsible for zoning violations has already occurred. And so the scope of today's violation is simply to determine whether or not uh, Mr. and Mrs. Allen have come into compliance because the county gave you additional time to come into compliance. And so the only issue to be decided today is uh, whether the Allens have come into full compliance with the zoning code. And if not, then to impose the fines that were already set out in my May 8th, 2024 order. OK. Um, so there's there shouldn't be any questions about that. Anyone who's going to be testifying today will be put under oath to tell the truth um, and we'll proceed accordingly. Um, are both of you ready to proceed? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, Mr. Stento, do you have any type of opening or would you just like to jump to your sworn testimony? Oh, we can go right to testimony. OK, please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony today? I do. Okay, please proceed and tell me about the compliance matters. Uh, certainly. Uh, so, pursuant to the 08 May 2024 hearing for Coconut County Code Enforcement Case PCC 230079 in accordance with Coconut County Zoning Ordinance on 09 May, 2024, Code Enforcement Officer Stento and Cole personally served the order and recall notice. Uh, from the initial hearing on Mr. Allen is depicted in Exhibit 8, um, which I believe we provided to your office ahead of time. Uh, I request that Exhibit 8 be admitted into evidence. That also includes the affidavit showing service. Um, I don't believe the Allens have seen these most recent exhibits, so I'm going to provide it to them on my laptop so they can refer to Exhibit 8 directly. Please do. And then Alan's take your time in reviewing this that. This is the down. original order, so I'm asking for the original order that we gave you guys and mailed you to. I'm asking for that along with an affidavit which is shown we gave it to. That's that's testimony by John and myself that we handed it to you that day. That's what we're asking to use it. Admitted it out. Yes. No objections to that, Alan's. No. Okay. Exhibit eight will be admitted. Uh, on 18 June 2024, uh, compliance manager Stento inspected the property. Uh, some cleanup was noted. However, several thousand square feet of secondhand material, construction material, refuse, household items, vehicle parts, and at least one vehicle uh, remained. Uh, these items are depicted in exhibits 9A, 9B, 9C, 9D, and 9E, which I ask to be admitted into evidence, and I will show those to the audience now. These are photos they took on Tuesday when I met with you, April, out there with the property. These are the items I'm referring to. All these items, all that stuff is regulated by the county zoning boards. So like we said, we're still looking at some issues out there. Was, yeah, and we just we discussed that with April. Mr. and Mrs. Allen, do you have any objection to me considering those photographs? Yeah. Okay. Is that the uh, the can do those? Uh, do those photographs accurately show what the property looked like on June 18? Is that question referred to the Allens or the county circuit? Uh, to the Allens. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, the 9A through E will be admitted. Uh, based on the ongoing violations, Coconut County alleges the defendants are responsible for unlawful outdoor storage of refuse, secondhand materials, construction materials, household items, vehicles, vehicle parts, and appliances uh, in violation of Coconut County Zoning Ordinance Sections 47C1A and 47C1B. 
Uh, pursuant to Coquino County Zoning Ordinance Section 504CD4AIII, Coquino County requests a $250 non-compliance penalty due immediately for each day of non-compliance after the recall hearing, a daily penalty of $40 per day from unlawful refuse storage is requested. The maximum cumulative amount rather than daily penalties is $1,500. We will email uh, that language to you after the hearing as well, Mr. Brown. Um, should the daily penalty balance reach $1,500, the matter shall be referred to the county attorney's office for further legal action. Is the remedy that you're requesting the same remedy that was set forth in my prior order? Exactly the same. Okay. okay. Is there anything further, Mr. Stento? No, that concludes the county's testimony. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Allen, you have an opportunity to ask Mr. Stento questions. That's what people call cross-examination. You may have heard that term in TV or movies. You can ask him questions about the things that he just talked about. Or if you'd like, you, I can put you under oath and you can simply do your sworn testimony now and tell me your side of the story. I just want to add something to that. Oh, you you want to you want to kind of tell me something about the property and compliance? Okay, yeah. Why don't why are you both going to testify to me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Why don't you if if you just in case you decide to, why don't you both raise your right hand? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony today? Yes. Okay. Um, Mrs. Allen, would you like to go first? Yeah, sure. So on April 19th, I had surgery, and due to that surgery, I've actually had complications since then. I've been in and out of the hospital all the way up until May 28th. I didn't make Mark aware of this, but he told me I do need to bring it to you. I know it does say in the paperwork, under extraordinary circumstances, more time can be given. And I am now currently on blood thinners thanks to the complications for my surgery, and I have a letter from my doctor confirming all this. Okay. Did you, just so I, I'm not sure I quite got the dates. Did you say that it, it started on April 18? April 19th, all the way up till May 28th. I'm still on blood thinners. The time was still having complications, but thankfully have not returned the hospital as of yet. Okay. And um, are you saying that those complications are making it impossible for you to bring the property into compliance? And then we were in the hospital five times in total, and then I also have a growth on my kidney that will now start being an issue, and I need to get seen. It is potentially cancerous that I'm looking into. I'm sorry to hear that. Did you have? Uh, did you say you had a doctor's note that you wanted me yes. to take a look at? Do you have that with I you today? I email it to you. Okay. Why don't you send it to Mr. Stento? Because he okay. has a right to see it anyway if you want me to see it. And so you can send that to Mr. Stento and then he'll forward it to me. Okay. Sounds good. Mr. Allen, um, is there anything that you want to tell me? No, just that every spare moment I have, I'm out there working on it. Yesterday. I know who to forward it to you. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. It's, it's... In fact, Mr. Stento, if you um if you were get it right now, if I don't know if you're able to share your screen. I I will be able to, yes. Okay. Mrs. Allen, is that okay if he shares screen of the letter that you're going to show me? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as there's an attachment, there could be a delay as it roll it goes through the county's um, IT infrastructure, or okay. it could be very quickly. So I'm monitoring my email now. Okay. So, Mr. and Mrs. Allen, um, you're, it sounds like 
what you're telling me is that you're you're working on it. You're putting every, every spare moment that you have into coming into compliance. But Mrs. Allen has had some medical complications that are making it difficult to come into compliance in a timely manner. Is that yes, fair? Sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. Do Mr. and Mrs. Allen, other than the letter that we're going to see in a minute, do you have anything else to testify to me about? Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Stento, do you have any questions for the Allens? I do not. Um, I did receive that letter. Let me see if I can get that one. I've got to join the hearing here um, on my personal laptop. So um, just one moment while I do that, and then I should be able to share that to the quick video. And can you see my screen now? Yes, I can. Thank you. This is what I just received. Okay. Would you like me to scroll yes. or? No, that's fine. Is um, Miss Niemeyer, is she a, P I see it says PAC, is that physician assistant? Do, do you know Miss Allen? Yeah, she works with my surgeon, Dr. Hurst. She's the one that's been helping me with my medication since. Gotcha, okay, all right. Uh, Mr. Stento, do you have any objection to me taking this into evidence? No, I do not. Um, if you would email that to me, I would appreciate it. Certainly. May I stop sharing my screen? Yes, thank you. And Mr. Stenter, you said you do, you do not have any questions um, for the Allens. Is that still the case after reviewing the letter? That is still the case. Okay. Okay. Uh, if there's no further evidence, then Mr. Stento, would you like to make any sort of a closing statement to me? Uh, no, I would not. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Allen, um, you can take a minute or two just to recap what we've talked about if you'd like. Otherwise, I think I understand what your position is, but you're free to kind of summarize for me what we've talked about today. Okay. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this under advisement, which means I'm not going to make a ruling right now. I'm going to think about a little bit about what you guys have told me, and then I'll issue a written order probably later this morning after I've had a little time to think. And um, what I do, Mr. and Mrs. Allen, is I will um, I'll send that to Mr. Stento, and, um, and he can forward it to me. Unless if we, you, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Allen, you have an email address? Yes, yes. Forward that too. Okay, Mr. Stento, why don't you, when you send that document to me, include Mrs. Allen's email address, and I'll use that to uh, distribute the order to them as well. Perfect. I already forwarded it, and if you look at the um, the uh, communication chain in the email, you can see uh, Ms. Allen's uh, email address in the email. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, then, if there's nothing further, I will close this hearing, and uh, everyone will be excused. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. Thank you. Let me know when we're clear.